Here's to now celebrating a dreamer, achiever, and an inspirer indeed. I would request uh, the presence and joining of uh, somebody as dignified as him to talk about this uh, legendary personality, ladies and gentlemen, the award of the evening, the Lifetime Achievement Award. Dr. Basin, can we please request you to say a few words? Lifetime Achievement Awardee. But the person is still young. And many more achievements, you see, will come in his way. And I'm talking about Mr. Jyoti Sagar. It will not be fair on my part to introduce Mr. Jyoti Sagar. I think the entire legal fraternity, whether they are counsel, whether they are in-house counsel, litigation lawyers, they all know Jyoti Sagar. His name and reputation has traveled much beyond the Indian shores and he's known all over. But a brief introduction about certain facts and what has made him the present Jyoti Saga, that may be relevant. He founded JSA as a solo practitioner. That was way back in December 1991. And now the firm has got more than 360 lawyers in seven offices around the country of in the uh, offices of JSA. And then in 94, he founded an intellectual property law firm, law boutique firm, which is now known as KNS Partners. And that has also got 120 professionals in five offices in India. His practice has focused on foreign investment and intellectual property. But what is his singular contribution? The singular contribution to the contemporary profession in India is the protecting, pioneering role in changing the paradigm of ownership and management structures in law firms in India. Both the firms, JSA and KNS, introduce features that are unique in Indian context. These include a no family rule and admittance to partnership without requirement of payment for goodwill, then retirement age for partners, performance-based partner compensation plans, and an institutional practice driven by purpose, mission, and espoused core values. Many young firms in India are following the example set by Jyoti of transformation of law firms to professional institutions which will survive their founders. Jyoti is associate president of the Society of Indian Law Firms. He is also past president of the Asian Patent Attorneys Association, and he holds so many other positions. He devotes significant time. That is very important because we have to give it back to the society. And he's giving it back to the society in a very, very big way. And also to the student community, the, particularly the law students. Yeah. Some of you may not be knowing that he under the Society of Indian Law Firms, he has pioneered a project of, you, of use of simple English in legal pleadings, in legal presentations. That is his signal contribution which he has made and that has been a very popular program with the, with the students and the young and emerging lawyers. He chairs Society of Urban Regeneration of Gurgaon, which works for 
the long-term sustainable development matters of Gurgaon. He is trustee of Genesis Foundation, which provides critical medical assistance to underprivileged children suffering from congenital heart defects. He supports Deepale, associated with education of slum children in the national capital region. This is Jyoti Sagar, some of you may not be knowing about. You know him as a lawyer, as one of the most distinguished managing partners, chairman of GSA, one of the most reputed law firms known not just in India, but across the globe. But these are the other facets of Jyoti Sagar, giving it back to the society and also doing something for the legal education, for teaching the students and all that. It's a great privilege to be presenting the Lifetime Achievement Award to Jyoti Sagar, but with a precondition that possibly after 10 years, we will give him another Lifetime Achievement Award to come. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Basin, for saying magnificent things about a person who deserves a standing ovation, ladies and gentlemen. The ageless, I should say, the matchless. Let's extend the warmest round of cheer for Jyoti Sagar, our Lifetime Achievement Awardee. Mr. Sagar, we rise in the honor of all, as Dr. Basin said, you've done for the fraternity. It is a moment we would like to hear from you. Thank you so much. Uh, good evening to all. Thank you so much, Sir Nigarera and the eminent jury for this uh, recognition. And it comes at a very interesting time for me because in another th about three to four weeks' time, it will be 50 years, yes, I am that old, 50 years that, of my involvement with the profession because I joined on 1st June 1972, a law firm as a full-time intern. And I started studying law in the evening classes in Vandimar. So, yes, uh, and, and I have the honor and the privilege that my, my certificate, my sanad, is signed by none other than Lalit Basin. So just, uh, you know, a few things in terms of when, you know, an event like this or an occasion like this, and, and you know, you need to kind of, I, I think, just record some of your, your gratefulness. So I'll first, I mean, I like to really thank, thank my parents for in Telling in me this idea which says that cubic meters of belief and values matter more than your height in centimeters. My family, my, my wife Prema, my children Rahul and Simran and uh, three lovely little granddaughters, Isabella, Mia, and Sophie, who give me their unconditional love, support, and encouragement. My life is worthwhile because of them. I want to thank my teachers and my mentors. I am here because of what I learned at their feet. And I want to thank my colleagues at JSA and KNS for putting up with me and my crazy notions. Some of my ideas are really insane, but I think together we've done some wonderful work, something very different. And as uh, Lalit, uh, as you said, yes, uh, you know, uh, the Lifetime Achievement Awards, the, the sort of, uh, the other part of it is that, you know, you're kind of done, you know, you're done for life, but I think, I think I'm not yet done, uh, but I have a couple of things which are, and some of them Lalit has mentioned, but I th thought I'll just, I'll just talk about that a little bit in, in, in few sentences. One, of course, is the entire idea of adoption of plain English, plain language, and doing away with uh, legalese. 
So we're working on that project. It's been in process, but I think it's now coming to a stage where it's going to take off. The second, of course, is looking at the curriculum of our law schools, and in particular, addition of some some important sort of you know training of skills that are really important, and that's practice skills and life skills, whether it is emotional intelligence, whether it is building and maintaining relationships, whether it is communications, and more importantly, the, the values of our profession. I mean, I really continue to wonder, you know, we're all here today, August, you know, uh, ceremony and great people, but just imagine that you actually have a situation all over the country where a landlord is not willing to rent a house to a lawyer. Just think of it, where credit card companies have a problem of granting credit cards to lawyers. So I think something is wrong somewhere, and we need to do something to really improve ourselves in terms of the eyes of the world. And here we are, the, the profession which led the independence moment, movement, which led every major social change that we ever saw, and where we are. So there is work to be done, and I do hope that I will do something in that sphere. Thank you very much again. Stay healthy, stay safe.